I'm afraid it's been... nine years. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Yi Young here and welcome to another Metal Gear Solid 5 news update. So those who watched my previous news update may remember the rather ambiguous viral marketing video released a week ago featuring a man whose face is covered up in bandages in a similar fashion to Ishmael from the trailer. The man talks to the audience apologizing for being unable to unveil his identity, but he gives us a few hints, such as the fact that he's a Hollywood actor whose voice has made appearances in popular computer animated films and that he's at least six feet tall, all which seem to point to this mysterious voice actor being David Hayter, who according to Kojima, supposedly won't reprise his role in MGS5. Unfortunately, we have no way to know 100% since his face is covered up and his voice replaced by a text-to-speech system. But guess what, folks? The computerized voice is actually the icing on the cake, further pointing to David Hayter reprising his role. The name of the text-to-speech voice used in this video is called Microsoft David, featured on Windows 8. If you have a computer with Windows 8, go search for text-to-speech under settings and you'll know exactly what I mean. If you don't have Windows 8 or are just too lazy to try, don't worry, I got you covered. I actually attempted and succeeded at replicating the audio on their video through my home computer's Windows 8 system. Before I compare their version with mine, here is what I did to replicate the audio for those who want to try this out. First, on a Windows 8 system, I opened the text-to-speech configuration menu and proceeded to select Microsoft David. For most people, David should be selected by default. Then, after much experimenting and fiddling, continuously comparing my version with theirs back and forth, I managed to find that typing this exact paragraph on the text box produces perfect results. Keep in mind, placement of commas and periods do matter. Also, the entire paragraph won't fit in the text-to-speech box. The voice will stop after a certain number of characters. You'll have to split the paragraph into two. I'll copy the exact paragraph in the description below so those who want to try this out can just copy and paste it. The final step that I took after realizing that for some reason my version was slightly faster than theirs was to reduce the speed by exactly one notch from default. And voila, an exact replica. Let me show you. Greetings everyone. I am sorry for this mess but I have to keep my identity secret for a little while, for a good reason, which you will know in a bit. In the meantime you can call me Mr. Oni. I am a Hollywood actor and I do voiceovers and my voice was used in many popular computer animated movies. While I will not currently reveal who I will be voicing soon, a hint of who I am will follow this sentence. I am the one you thought I would be from the start. Look closer detectives. The hint is right in front of you. I will be back with my next video revealing my true identity. June 11, 2013. Thank you for your time and see you soon. V has come to. Honestly, combine this with all other hints and clues that I covered in my previous videos, and at this point, I am 99% sure David Hayter is making a return in some way, shape, or form. And it looks like we may find out very soon, since yesterday, on April 27th, the channel user who uploaded the viral marketing video, Onigawara V, or Onigawara 5, posted the following comment. Major update will come in the next 72 hours. The truth will finally be revealed. Project Deception was a success. Please accept my apologies in advance. As if Microsoft David wasn't enough of a clue, we are also being told about this Project Deception and being offered apologies, which could easily be attributed to Kojima's trolling and David's lies about the iconic voice not making a return. Regardless, we will find out the truth in the following few days, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. So be sure to join the nation and subscribe to Young Gear. I also cover other AAA franchises and review them. Also, look forward to my game cinema like the upcoming Skyrim movie Dragonborn coming on summer of 2013. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Andy Young out.